Hi everybody, my name is Bob Saunders and I've come today to tell you that with regards to astral projection and all the emails and things you've been sending me, I won't be answering them anymore. I'm sorry about this, but I just don't have the time to do it anymore, the astral projection part. Now let me explain please, and I hope you'll be able to understand. Now, um, starting a couple of years, I've got, got some notes, so please excuse me. Starting a couple of years ago, I put some videos on YouTube explaining, amongst other things, the basis of how I've been taught that spiritual life works, where we come from, uh, why we're down here, how meditation, why meditation works, and, and all the rest of it. And I expected it to stop at just that. However, to my surprise, people started to contact me, which was fine. If I can help people go down, go down the spiritual path, I will. That's what I'm here for in a way. I enjoy doing it, and it, if I can help people, I will. Now, then I discovered about astral projection. And I couldn't believe anybody would be stupid enough to do this, but apparently people do. So I put a video online explaining the dangers of astral projection. And from then on, I've been bombarded with countless people who contact me daily and ask me questions about astral projection. And I, I spend at the moment about 12 hours a day answering emails and comments and things, about half of which are concerned with actually about spirituality and the spiritual path, and the rest is all about astral projection. Right? Now, and I just don't have the time to mess with it anymore. I'm very sorry. I'll explain very quickly why we shouldn't do it. At the end of this video, um, I'll put online, I'll, I'll put underneath this, this little video um, an explanation of how to get rid of any bad spirit that you inevit inevitably will pick up if you do this stuff. And oh, please ign <laughs> ignore this. There's a cat scratching at the door from the outside. We won't let her in. Anyway, now, uh, right. why is astral projection dangerous? It's not hard to understand. We come from heaven, that which we call the higher fourth dimension. And we're born down here on planet Earth. And, but we always retain a link to heaven. Um, and we can make that link stronger via meditation and so on. And eventually we will return to heaven. So we've got this link between heaven and Earth. Okay? We're not supposed to mess with the bits in between, heaven and earth. You will notice when people die that mostly they go up through a kind of a tube, a coloured tube usually, into heaven. The idea of that is so that these people don't get lost in the etheric and the, the low fourth dimension. They go straight from here back up to heaven when we do a lot of meditation and stuff and we manage um, our guides contact us and so on when they take us they take us straight from here up into the fourth the higher fourth dimension which we call heaven we don't they don't normally allow us to mess about with the, this etheric and lower fourth dimension because they're dangerous now why are they dangerous it's because in those areas are the creatures that we call jinns uh, devils, whatever, I wrote a little list of them somewhere. Jinns, uh, devils, reptilians, archons, plus all the dregs of humanity that uh, uh, drug addicts and alcohol alcoholics, and they tend to hang about in those areas. And if you go into those areas, eventually one of them will grab hold of you and come back into this third dimension and will cause havoc in your life. Now, the people that contact me 
about astral projection fall into basically three categories. They ask me, will I teach them to do a astral projection? And I say, no, I won't. It's far too dangerous. Second, um, what was the second one? Hang on. Oh, yeah. Please teach me how to protect myself. I am a very spiritual person. I pray. I believe in God. I'm grounded and I'm ready to go into the astral, proje uh, astral projection areas, eth etheric, low forth. And I say to them, no, you're not, because any prayers, any mantras, any techniques that you might have to protect yourself down here is designed to stop those creatures coming down from their realm into ours. You put up a barrier and they can't come through into our realm. But if you deliberately go into their realm, you've got no protection at all. You're, you're, you're kind of like an, a, a naked person. There's nothing. You've got no army. Your prayers don't work like that. They're to stop bad creatures coming to you. If you deliberately go towards bad creatures, you're on, you're on your own with it. Okay? So now, I'm going to stop here. Under this, I'm just going to read how to protect yourself, how to get rid of a bad spirit when you've got one. And then I'll just repeat, please don't contact me about astral projection because I'm not going to reply anymore. I'm going to spend time helping people down the spiritual path. I'm going to spend some time with my family, which I've been ignoring. So, okay. Now, if I can bring this up, I'm going to read it. So, excuse me. Right. Now, <clears throat> here's what you do if you've got a bad spirit attached to you. And this works, believe me. You sit on your own in a room with the door and windows closed. Um, you, you tell all your family to leave you alone. You don't want any interruptions. You want to be on your own, okay? Then you speak to God. You just tell him that you're going to ask to get rid of a bad spirit and ask God to send his angels and your guides to stand guard over you. Now, you don't have to make a big fuss about praying to God. Talk to him as if he was a friend. He is your best friend. Just talk to him like that, okay? Now, this is the bit that works. You sit on a chair and you imagine a cascade of water, a shower of water pouring down over your head, over your body, and eventually down into the ground. Now, this is not real water, it's spiritual water. It's water coming from heaven, from God, pouring all over you and uh, washing away any bad spirit. Okay? And, and it works. You sit under this imaginary shower for a couple of minutes, and then and, and you, the, more you, the more you can imagine this shower, really feel it, not not to sort of just sit, really feel as if you're under a shower of water. Really feel this this, and the more that you can feel it, the more effective it is. Okay. Now, after a couple of minutes, you just thank God for having sent His angels and your guides to stand guard over you, and that basically is it. Now you can do, you can do this for three days consecutively if you wish, and then any bad spirit will be washed away and will be gone. Do not ever consider going back into those realms because if you get picked up again, <laughs> you're going to have to do all this again and it, it will only ever bring you bad luck, th th those realms. There's nothing positive in there at all, okay? If you want to learn to enter the higher fourth, you have to do it through long years of meditation and... and prayer and being a nice person and it takes a certain time okay it's like everything else it's a, it's a training it's it's like learning to play a musical instrument it takes time if you want to shortcut it and just go into the etheric and low low fourth dimension that's up to you i can't stop you i'm telling you it's stupid to do it's dangerous to do i'm advising you with all the strength i've got not to do it but please whatever you do don't contact me anymore because I'm not going to reply to you. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> okay. And I excuse myself for cutting myself off from a certain part, group of the population. But that's it. I can't do it all. Okay. Bye.